Are you jinking out of the jug? Say, we're having a daddy-daughter day. We jink out of the jug. <laughs> that is the best trap I've had in a long time right there. We got a 12 crabs in one trap. I will take that. Yes, siree. I feel like I'm on the deadliest catch. Oh my gosh, look how big that one is. Let's go. We're about to have us a good time. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is my cute little five-year-old daughter named Aria, and we are about to have the epic daddy-daughter day. So one of my main goals in life is for my girls to really understand the water, understand driving a boat. When you turn the wheel on a car, the car turns. With a boat, a boat just doesn't turn like that. It slides and you're driving it from the rear end. A car, when you turn, you're turning the front wheels so you, you turn. The more my girls drive the boat, the more their body understands that. Yo. What's the current doing? What's the current doing? Uh-huh. Current is coming in right now. The current is coming in. Straighten up. Pull your wheel back to the other way. Straighten it up. Straight. Keep going. Straight. Good. Right there. Perfect. See how that works? See how the boat went around and then you have to straighten it up? Now drive right down the edge of these trees. Okay. Now straighten it up. Perfect. You're my little boat captain. <laughs> I like driving. Perfect. Hey, do you think we should call mommy and have Emma come meet us? Yeah? Awesome, let's do that. So we're gonna call Sarah and have her bring Emma down and it'll be me, Aria, Emma. Epic daddy day. Now a lot of you all might think this is crazy that I've got a five year old running the boat. But guess what? Huh. When you're five years old and you, your dad spends time with you, it's not overwhelming. I don't want her to be 12 or 15 and then saying, oh, drive, ah! No. Over time, she's gonna be very comfortable with this. She'll be running any boat. I got both girls, y'all. Who wants to check the crab traps? Me! All right, let's get the first one real quick. Girls, who is gonna pull in the first trap? Me! See it coming? I got it. Good job, you got it all by yourself. What you got in there? We got a big fat bunch of nothing. Oh, that stinks. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. You got it? Pull it in. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull it, pull it. Good thing I got it again because I got, nope. We've got a snapper? What? Are you kidding me? I did not expect that to happen. Can't keep snapper. Nope. Nope. Can't keep snapper. Got a bunch of sardines here, and you just put them right in the bait trap, right there. Whoa. Well, this one's bigger. Good. Perfect. Now, go ahead and put it in the water wherever you want it. Alrighty. Hey, huh. you cannot catch crabs if you don't have them baited. Are you gonna get this one? Yep. And I want you to pull that thing in. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Heavy one, huh? What do we got in here? Oh, look at that, we got a big old crab in there. 
Look at that. And one until he dies. Well, that's his. That's a shed. See how we have a big crab in there? That shell. That's he came out of that shell, and he shed. See how I'm washing the trap off? Yeah, with a crab. Yeah, with a crab in there. So what we're, we're going to do, Aria, we're going to put these crabs right on ice. There you go. Perfect. Now, anytime I'm trapping, Aria, I have to make sure I shut my lid. Pull that thing in, honey. Show them how tough you are. Come on. Pull on that thing. I'll hold it here. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. How many do you think we got? One. One? Keep pulling. I think there's two, actually. Two? Yeah. Keep pulling. I no, want to see how hard you can pull. No, actually, I think there's five. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, oh, oh I see. Oh, we got a fish? Whoa, and four, four crabs. I was so close. Yeah, we got four. I and got a sheep's head. Well, I'll Holy cow. Ooh. See how I do this? Yep. You just put them right in there. You're going to cook a sheep's head? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him go. Well, why is that in there? Whoa. There you go. See, you can't trap fish. So when you have a fish in your trap, you got to let them go. Okay, we're in the money now, girls. <laughs> this one. Here you go. Come get it up that here. That one was heavy. <laughs> Pull, pull, pull. I want you to pull that thing. I just Pull. Pull. Get it. Get it. I want you to pull on that thing. Pull. Get it. Right up front. Pull back. Oh, yeah. Keep pulling. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, here's the trap. How many do we have? Ten. Wait a second. We got two. We have one, two, three, four. But these are all kind of small, and one's a female. So you want to just turn these loose? Yeah. Yeah, we'll turn these loose. <laughs> Emma's like, no way. Keep them. Got another trap coming up. You got long and long, There you go. Pull that thing. Pull, pull, pull. I think there's How many do you think we got? 20 crabs. No, oh, I know we got one. Oh, we got two this. nice ones. There we go. Look at that. That's a big I one. Who's that. gonna eat that one? Huh? Who's gonna eat this crab? You! Me? High five on that. I feel something wiggling around in there. I feel something. Holy smokes. We've got three crabs. Four crabs and three sheep's head. Wow. Oh, are you drinking out of the jug? Say, we're having a daddy daughter day. We drink out of the jug. <laughs> hey, let me show you guys. This is one of the kids' shirts. This is actually a kid's small circle of life. It's got a sailfish, a shark, and a big mackerel, big kingfish. Then it's got deer meat for dinner and the circle of life. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Emma, let me show them yours. Turn around. Hers has the Deer Meat for Dinner logo in the front. And what's up, happy people in the back? Let me see. <laughs> and this is mine. I've worn it for exactly two hours and got it filthy. Luckily, Sarah's a really good wife and does amazing laundry, so she'll have this thing sparkling quick. Girls, do you think Daddy should go get the last trap? You. Another use for my alligator hook. We use this hook to grapple up giant alligators. And this is one of my favorite spots to crab in this whole area. As you come around this bend, the water drops off sharp right here. And that's a deep hole over there. So you take this. Whoop, just like that. Hook your line. Pull it right to you. I feel like I'm on the deadliest catch. I'll bet you there's over, over three. I see one right now. 
Oh yes, look at that. That is the best trap I've had in a long time right there. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, oh my gosh, look how big that one is. Yes, siri. I thought I was gonna have like three more. We still, check this out. I'm gonna throw these all in a bucket. And we still got all those up there. I thought me and the girls were gonna have to share with Austin, but now I think we got enough for all of us to eat. Girls, look how many I, here. Look at the big ones I got in there. <laughs> she says, holy cow. Now look, we got 13 there. Yeah, and that trap. Hold on. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what that means? I think our other traps must have been robbed. Whatever it is. Hold on. Hold on, now watch what we're gonna do. Can I do one? Can I do one? Yeah, here, go put them in. Ooh, not with my hand. Aria, listen, do I ever lie to you? Okay. Do I ever lie to you? Mm. Grab them. Now go put them in the pot. Okay. You know what, you guys? Part of parenting is figuring out what works. Eventually, she's going to hold that crab, but I'm not going to make her do it too fast. We're going to use just some fresh water like this. This is a new seasoning I'm using. It's called Florida Garlic Butter Crab and Shrimp Boil. <laughs> We're cooking now, y'all. These things are in a full rolling boil. The recipe calls for let them boil for 15 minutes. At 15 minutes, you shut the heat off and let them sit for five minutes. And then you start eating. I'll tell you right now, they smell really good. But my daughters, they'll be the true test. Okay, so here we go, y'all. Take that off the heat. And then here's a pot with some butter. We can put that there, let that start to boil. Now check this out. Oh, yes siree. <whistles> Who's gonna say the blessing? Me. You are? Okay. Okay, lean up and I want you to say the blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and our food. Jesus, please let Hudson, please let him feel better. And if Taylor gets hurt, please let her feel better. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hudson, we're praying for you, boy. Uh, lot, she just brought that up. Uh, Hudson's a young boy that was hurt around here about two or three months ago, hit by a, a boat and- Oh, he, here? Well, he was in the river up here, not far from here. And uh, he's in bad shape, but he's pulling through. Hey, who wants the first bite? Me, dad. When I will, if I bite one piece, I will not chew it up and I will fit it out. <laughs> You're not gonna chew them and you're gonna spit it out, huh? This is what, do you girls like doing picnics with daddy? Yeah? Ooh, yeah? I want it with butter. Yeah? Hold on, see this? Now, you see we're, this is a public table and we're gonna get it dirty, but I promise you, when we get done, it will all be cleaned up. Look at that. And we can just throw the shells right out in the water. Take these little pieces, crack them like that. Dad, I don't Hmm? Actually, look. Look at that. Uh, crab, I dig that one I, You so want that one? Been eating a hey. crab. Hold on. Having a picnic all day. Dad. Um, um, Dad. Hold on. Let's. I'm gonna give you a really good piece right here. This is gonna be a good one. Watch. You take. And you guys. I mean, how many of y'all that eat crabs at home? How many of you learned how to do it as a kid? Take that. Pop the shell off. 
the shell is where you can put all your other little shells and your these are called deadman's fingers they're gills put them right in there just like that and then you break this thing in half back here throw that out Ooh, watch how good this is gonna be this pops off look at that chunk are you kidding I mean this is as you can see like our first five or six traps we didn't hardly catch anything luckily the last few traps had some crabs in them but even if we wouldn't have caught anything oh, I got a little alligator sneaking up on me even if we would not have caught anything coming out here with your children teaching them how to run the boat teaching them how to bait traps That's a huge bite of crab. Hot. <laughs> to me, a big fat bite of crab is probably one of the best things in the world to eat. Hot. How good is it? Good? You ready, Em? Mm, 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 mm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, Hold oh. on, I wanna give Em one of these big ones. Not the big ones. Just the little ones. Just the little baby ones. Watch this. You know, our fingers are dirty. We're covered in fish. Here you go, Em. You mean, I don't uh, want butter on it. The butter makes it taste really good. I don't want butter on it. Can I have a bite? I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -mm. Dad! Mm. Dad, gum. The... Here, here's a little one. That's a little nice chunk. No butter. Hey, you guys. I want not your big chunk. I'm gonna give you a big, we're gonna eat all these crabs. But I wanna tell you, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. If you're sitting at home and you're struggling with something, the best way to get over whatever you're struggling with is taking the first step. If you wanna repair a relationship, pick up the phone call and start the process. If you wanna spend more time with your children, do it. it. You don't have to come out here crabbing. You can do it just for a walk. You can go out and play frisbee. You can go do anything. But it takes taking that first step. And you know what? I'm guilty of not spending enough time with them sometimes. I get so caught up in making videos and doing what I'm doing on the phone, checking emails, da 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 So I work on it. I work on it constantly, always making sure I'm spending enough time with my children and my wife. Right now, this is a daddy-daughter day. Do you girls love daddy-daughter days? Daddy! Oh, <laughs> she actually knows I'm working right now making this video, but uh, daddy daughter days are so important. Sarah's at home painting the RV and uh, we're going to finish up eating. I'm actually going to take them fishing for a little while. Hey, what are you doing crazy? <laughs> and then we're going to head home. But I want to thank, thank you for hanging out with us today. Take care. God bless. And we are. Yeah.